So on, when you're putting a, a new motor in a rear-wheel drive Trailblazer SS, the way to keep from having to replace motors, because the stock oil pan on a Trailblazer SS um, is a front sump design because of the being four-wheel drive where the CV axles go through. On the rear-wheel drive one, they come with the same pan, and to make it a rear or a mid sump, you put an oil pan from a C6 Corvette, and in order to make it fit, the only thing you have to do is you have to take the uh, five bolts out of each side on this cross member, two on the bottom, three up here, and you flip it over. You're gonna have to re-drill the holes here on the bottom, and then that puts this angle down here, and the oil pan will clear. Good to know. Okay, so once you have the crossmember in and flipped over, you don't have to re-drill any holes up here. All these holes will just line up. You reuse the factory bolts. Once you have it in, you tighten, tight, re-tighten those bolts, and then you're gonna come back and you're gonna have to re-drill these four holes on the bottom. You should be able to use your factory bolts, and then you are gonna have to get a nut to put back on the top because these had uh, a welded nut to capture it. So you have to get a nut. And there's the, there's the old welded nut there. It is no longer on the bottom. When you're doing this project, you need to be sure that before you drill the bolt hole, you've drilled a pilot hole. This makes everything go much smoother and ensures that you get an easy and clean hole. This is a stock Trailblazer SS oil pan. They're also used on the SSRs. This is a Corvette C6 oil pan. And you can only do this on the all-wheel drive or the rear-wheel drive versions, not the all-wheel drive versions because all-wheel drives, the front differential bolts to the side of the oil pan and the CB shafts run through to the opposite side. And because of that, the GM had to make it to where it was a front sump design. So it pulls oil from the front of the pan. So under heavy acceleration, all the oil rushes to the back of the pan, starving the motor for oil. So the way to fix that is you have to, if you have an all-wheel drive, you have to convert it to rear-wheel drive. If you have rear-wheel drive, all you have to do is just get a C6 Corvette oil pan and then it converts it to a rear sump. So under acceleration, the oil runs to the back of the oil pan uh, where the pickup tube is and it does not starve the motor for oil. So here's a look at the final product of what happens when you flip the cross member. Here's a top view of the bolts. Uh, this is, goes in the holes, the four holes on the bottom that we drilled. Here's a view of the clearance you get from clip, flipping the cross member. Uh, you get quite a bit actually. Here's the other side and the bolts. There's the final view and a project well done. Till next time.